Properties panel in ORCADX is a great way to interact with different objects' properties, and also enables some relational navigation of the design. The panel's contents is determined by the user's current selection, or in other words, it is context sensitive. With no objects selected on the canvas, the panel will display top-level design properties. Basic design information, like the number of shapes needing to be refreshed, or a DRC overview, can be quickly inspected. Additional parameters, such as the page size and custom attributes, can also be managed. Any links displayed in a blue underlined font can be interacted with by left-clicking. The resultant command is a cross-probe to the search results panel. For example, use this to quickly see which nets are still unrouted. Selecting a component will display new information in the properties panel. In the case of this IC, selecting the blue links will display other parts that share the same property value, like the part number. Clicking the link shows that U6, U8, and U9 are all the same part number. We can then use the search results to select those components at the same time by shift-clicking the rows, right-clicking, and selecting Select on Canvas. Now the Properties panel displays all properties shared by these components, and properties which differ are displayed within ellipses and brackets. By using the selection filter at the top, we can easily select a net on the canvas. Once selected, properties of that net are displayed, such as the total etch length or the number of vias on the net. If we want to interact with a trace, change the selection filter to traces and select a trace or group of traces on the canvas. Once selected, we can use the properties panel to quickly adjust the trace width, and the changes will automatically be updated to the design. Keep in mind that grayed out values in the properties panel cannot be changed. Selecting a via displays via specific properties. In this example, we can apply a change to a single instance or a group of vias by selecting them and using the properties panel to change the thermal relief type to orthogonal. Finally, the properties panel makes DRC browsing simple by allowing users to filter errors and display them in the search panel. By default, the search panel's DRC tab shows all DRCs in the design. Using the pie chart in the properties panel, we can filter down to spacing DRC errors, then line 2 errors, and finally click the blue link to display the results in the search panel. Quickly navigate to the DRC error of interest by right-clicking and selecting zoom. Remember to always keep the properties panel in mind when navigating your design, and use it for a quick way to interact with selected objects.